Just to show you, this is the uh, packaging with the uh, marker in front of it. So I'll just turn that off so you can see the uh, segment that it goes to right on top. And kind of have this version that you can draw from. So it gives you a little bit of uh, style to it. And we'll take a look at it. See, this is just the marker drawn as a, sh as a shape. So if I duplicate it over just to show you how it's put together, <clears throat> this one just ungroup itself. Kind of break this apart just to see that this is just a gradient shape for the top. And you take a look at the uh, gradient panel and the swatches, you can see the different color choices. And once you pick one, you can always modify it to be a little more of a custom custom change with the gradient tool or the modifying tool right here with annotator. You can kind of see it's placed in here. And these are just highlights listed right on top of that shape. And then for the handle, just breaking this apart a little bit, ungroup this. Kind of see how it's made up with just a piece over the top. And basically what that is is just a segment. Set it over here. Once you draw one shape, you can just do the object and go to Path, Offset, Path. And since it's set to points, it makes it a little bit easier, but you can just place it inside of it, and giving it that gradient will give you that piece. And here's where you can use the annotator, go vertical or horizontal, to give yourself the best angle for that coloring. A little bit of an extra piece laid in here for a highlight. A little edge for the cap, just a subtle detail. Here we have the logo from before. So just dragging that and placing that right on top of the center part for this section. Again, placing the pieces on top of this. If this is going to have the stroke, you can always put the stroke points on the inside or bevel them on the outer edge. And same with this. This is just a cast shadow on top of everything. So it's going to have that silent look to it. These are all just gradient pieces built up off of this shape. So you single click, you can kind of get an idea of how they're put in there all based from the outside edge it has this interior piece right here so you can just kind of break it apart and see it's just shape over top of shapes building that section in there and it gives that pretty good pretty good idea So you can actually go in and do some of these items here. And the blob brush actually writes a little bit like the Sharpie.
bit of a flare to it like that. So there you go, it gives a little bit of background to it. 